Have you ever thought about using your TV remote control to control your Arduino project? Let's say, for instance, you've um, built a project, you know, to turn on some lights or something in your living room, but you'd like to control it from the couch with your TV remote control. Or, you know, some ambient lighting or something like that, or basically anything that, you know, your Arduino project does, you can control it with your TV remote. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first step in doing it is we have to decode the signals and find out what protocol your remote is using. Um, for instance, this LG remote for my living room TV, you would think uses the LG protocol, but it doesn't. It uses the NEC protocol, which is the most popular. So what we've got here is an infrared test rig. Nothing special here, okay guys? I mean, there's a lot of wires, but all these wires are just connecting our standard 16 by two LCD to the Nano. And then we have an infrared receiver here, which is connected with one wire into pin eight. So again, nothing earth shattering there at all. Now I'm gonna power it up. And all we have to do to figure out what signal our remote is sending is point it at the infrared receiver and press the button. And can you see that there? Let me make it a little bit brighter. So that is what is being sent. 20DF8877. That is a hexadecimal code that my infrared remote control is sending out. So if we want to map a bunch of buttons, we know that's one. There's two. There's three. But say this, you know, this is your regular TV remote. We don't want to be using the same buttons we use for the TV. So for instance, these four colored buttons down here don't do anything in my setup. So if we press one of them, you can see we get the code for that. That's the red button, the green button, the yellow button, and the blue button. So that gives us four inputs that I can use to control things on my Arduino. All you've got to do is write down those codes and then in the next step here we're going to use um, the same infrared receiver to receive the codes and use that to control the Arduino. Now I'm not going to show you the sketch that I use for this little decoder thing here because uh, I didn't write it. It is by Sharif, S-H-A-R-I-F-F. -F. And if you go into your Arduino IDE, go under sketch, include libraries, bring up the library manager and just type in IR. Go down until you find the one by Sharif and this is called IR dump. The only change I made was instead of outputting to serial, I'm outputting to the LED. All right, so now let's look at how to turn this around to control the Arduino. Okay, I recorded the values that my uh, TV infrared remote put out for the red, green, yellow, and blue buttons. And we set up a little demo here. This is the infrared remote demo. Now we have our infrared receiver on pin 11 and oh, I'm sorry we're using the IR remote library written by Ken Sharif again. We have an LED on pin 3, a buzzer on pin 5, and a relay on pin 7 because I felt like odd numbers today. And then we're going to declare an integer variable called codes 
with an initial value of 999. I don't know why. I just felt like 999 was good. So then we're going to initialize the receiver, IR receiver, IR receive, receive pin, which up here is pin 11. Then we're going to call the class decode results, and we'll begin our setup. Serial begin because we always like to print things out to the serial port for debugging. Then we'll start the receiver, IR receive, enable IR in function. And then we'll set our three things, the LED, the buzzer, and the relay, all for output. If you don't, you'll have problems. So now the main loop of our program, and we say if irreceive.decode in results, that means there's data in the buffer, and then it'll just go ahead and rece receive the next line. Now we say codes is equal to results.value, which is the value that was in the buffer. And then for debugging, we serial print codes so we can see what the numbers are, and that's how I recorded them. Now, the code for my red button is 20145. So we say if codes equals 20145, meaning did I press the red button, then we will turn the LED on everything else off. Then the green button, if codes equals 29071, we'll turn the buzzer on and everything else off. And if codes equals minus 14791, we'll activate the relay and turn everything else off. And if we press the blue button, which is undefined, or any other button that is undefined on the remote, everything gets turned off. So, pretty simple code. Let's go take a look at it in action. Alright, so here is our little demo setup. We've got an LED with a 220 ohm resistor on the pin 3, an active buzzer on pin 5, and a uh, mains rated relay on pin 7, and then going to pin 11 we have the infrared receiver. We're of course also bringing ground and 5 volts over. So now it's powered up. Got my remote. There's my four color buttons. So red lights up the LED. Green or And the relay, yellow. You can see the little LED on on the back there. And finally, blue. So there you have it. Red, yellow, or green, yellow, and blue. So it's pretty simple to use your TV remote control to control your Arduino. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, share it, feel free to comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? I'll see you next time. Now I'm going to go watch some TV.